Let's go to that top story, the visit of President Obama to Kenya. It's his fourth trip to Africa. This is his first, though, uh, to Kenya as U.S. president. Dr. J. Peter Pham is director of the Africa Center at the Atlantic Council in Washington. Thank you for being with us. Uh, first of all, a general question for you. I mean, what's he hoping to get out of this trip? Well, I would argue that this trip is the most strategic of his four visits as president to, to sub-Saharan Africa. He's going to engage in two, with two countries, Kenya and Ethiopia. There are critical U.S. allies on the political security front, but increasingly also on the economic front. He's going to address the Global Entrepreneurship Summit, highlighting one of the themes that came out of last year's U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit about the opportunities for business in Africa and the dynamism of the continent. And he's going to engage the African Union for the first time, an American president addressing that body in Addis Ababa. So it's a really a packed visit full of rather important issues on the st strategic front, on the political uh, front on the economic front and also on the good governance front as well. And, and just on that economic front, I mean, won't the U.S. find itself rather pipped at the post by countries like China and uh, those countries, China for one, doesn't de make demands about human rights in exchange for investment opportunities? Well, let's disaggregate some things. China, since 2009, has exceeded the United States, surpassed it in volume of bilateral trade between China and Africa as a whole. But we look at investment in Africa, actual foreign direct investment. The United States remains, by and large, the, f the largest source of foreign direct investment capital in Africa, followed by France, followed by the United Kingdom, with China a f distant fourth. So if you're looking for countries that are interested in partnering with Africa for the long term, building up African capacities and business rather than simply extracting resources, they're, they're two very different topics. How significant is the personal element? Of course, uh, President Obama has been to Kenya before. The last trip he was a senator, I believe, but how much is it about his past and his father's past? Well, certainly there's going to be a very strong uh, tug, not only on the president personally, but on the Kenyan people. Uh, there's no denying history and the, the bonds that, you, that unite them. But clearly this is a very strategic visit uh, aimed at those issues of economic development, political cooperation, security, and certainly good governance. Those will be the key themes, but certainly, uh, you know, the first president of African uh, ancestry, much less Kenyan ancestry, setting foot as president in Kenya. Uh, when he came last to Kenya, he was a new U.S. senator, very much a big success, but certainly no one envisioned him as president just within a short span of years, much less when he came to Kenya the first time as a very young man looking to discover his roots. So I think it is a, it is a trip home in many respects for both the president and for the Kenyan people. Yeah, I know there's been some disappointment that he's not paying a visit to his uh, father's ancestral village. But I mean, you mentioned all those different areas that uh, President Obama has ambitions for uh, to achieve with this trip. How much do you think that personal connection, that ancestral connection ha helps uh, move those areas along? Well, I think that, that the goodwill which President Obama entered office into uh, from the part of not only Kenyans but Africans across the continent certainly bolsters the, the soft power, if you will, case that the United States has, has to make. But ultimately, African countries, like countries any, everywhere in the world, are going to make decisions based on what's good for them or ought to make decisions on those bases. And so I think this may open the door, but ultimately the United States has to meet the expectations on all those fronts, political, economic, security, and as well as on the governance agenda. Dr. J. Peter Fan, Director of the Africa Center at the Atlantic Council there in Washington. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.